Hey everybody, welcome back to No Matter Garage, Thanksgiving edition. Today, we're working on some rust repair in our 55 Nomad. Here we go. You can see it's fall here in Minnesota. So we're really rapidly running out of fall weather or warm weather here. There it is, got that chunk on this side. And this piece on this side. We got our templates cut out for both sides. Traced out our template on the metal we're going to use. I'm putting the one edge here. You shrink them, shrinking this down so it gets a little more concave going this way. Here I got it tacked down. Now I'm going to start cutting out the perimeter and then butt welding it all the way around. Replacing this piece in here and a sizable amount underneath here. We get a piece from here all the way over to here. This stuff will look good. This, I think, where, was where the mirror might have been mounted at one time, but all that needs to get pounded out and the holes welded up. <laughs> the passenger side fender underneath the eyebrow. You can see, if you look really careful, you can see how rotted it is here. And so we got to cut that all out and put new metal in. We're on the underside here, uh, or actually the top of the fender. So it's pretty easy to see what happens. You get a lot of dirt that comes in from this side and it sits on top of here and it just eats it away over time. So we got all the bad metal cut out of there, and now we're gonna begin the arts and crafts portion of today's show. We created a cardboard template that we're now gonna transfer to metal. So we got our metal piece cut and fitted, and now we're ready to weld it in. Replace the metal here. That was a while ago. Replace the metal up underneath here. Look for any kind of signs of Bondo. Uh, it's pretty clean. No rust or anything. And you, you can see, I think you guys can see what color that is. That's Harvest Gold. So this car, this fender came off a different car. I don't think it was a Nomad because we didn't see any, any evidence of any kind of holes up here for the eyebrow turn. I did fill in all the holes along here where the trim was, not the trim on this car. Not for $4,500. Um, this, like the other side, it, there was evidence that the mirror was mounted right up here. And so, building those holes and make sure that it is somewhat close to where it should be. The question may come up occasionally, when is a good time to 
to get a reproduction part versus trying to save an old part. You can clearly see the difference between the two of these. We're going to go ahead and install the new one. There it is all put back together, ready to move on to something else. That something else is the new doors. I harvested all the bits off the old one, seeing what I can reuse, what's got to get replaced. Trying to figure out stuff that I didn't have. Didn't have a window in it, so it didn't have window cranes. So I'm going to be shopping for some parts. I'm thankful for parts. I'm also thankful for my daughter, Anissa. Anissa, what are you thankful for? Friends and family. All right. Well, that wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching.